All right, front line's been cleared. There's only one more to go. The final front. The final conflict has arrived. Stop the enemy's missile from launching. Lash, is construction on the missile platform completed? Uh, yes? Wait, no. Uh, give me a few minutes, okay? Can't rush genius, sir. How much more time do you require? About three, no, five, no, about 40 days, maybe. I will not wait that long. Finish it within 30 days. Ah. Do you understand me? Oh, what's the matter, Lash? You don't like it when you get put under crunch? Yeah, yeah, I'll give it my best. And the death ray, is it ready? Huh. You know it. It's fine, you can use it now. I even fixed it too. Now it won't even damage our troops when it's fired. Good. But it does need seven days to build up enough energy to fire. Seven days. I will not forget. All right, going into the final front. Uh, for the team, I'm thinking of for this. Uh, I say, let's go with Grit. Howdy. We're gonna go with Max. Let's roll. And our final CEO for the battle is going to be Eagle. All right. I just noticed that little like green earth jingle that plays in the background of the of Eagle selected, and probably the same with the other green earth CEOs as well. And also, I think the the orange star and blue moons uh, tunes were when you select them in as well, which is a nice little touch. Day one. Hey, I think I see it up there. That's the missile platform. Um. Here we go. Look who showed up. Sturm, we're really back for more after last time. <sighs> If it isn't the class president who likes playing with soldiers, and here you are yet again, engaging in war games out of your league. <sighs> Sonya's not alone. We're all here, different place, same cast. <laughs> Everyone, how expedient shall this be? Each and every one of you will bear witness to history in the making. When the Black Hole Army's missile strikes the debt, the destruction of your world will ensue, and the creation of my world will begin. <sighs> The zones were alive that will never happen. <sighs> Empty words from a puppet who was once so easily manipulated. <sighs> Why you? <sighs> Stopping me is impossible. The missile platform is simply beyond your reach. <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? There's nothing the might of our armies combined can't reach. <sighs> Enough. I will not delay your demise a second longer than necessary. Let's see this might of yours. <sighs> hey, wait! It's right there within reasonable distance. How could it be beyond our reach? What's their mean by that? Oh my gosh! Boomer troops are scouting the area just sent us a report. There's some kind of giant laser blocking access to the platform. Uh... That explains why the old bucket was rattling on like that. If we can't reach the missile platform, we can't dismantle the darn thing. Mm. And blowing up an explosive of that magnitude is certainly not an option. Mm. We should start moving out and striking the enemy before we have a chance to before they have a chance to prepare any further. Right. Doesn't look like we'll be able to avoid that contraption, so we better better off facing it head on is exactly where Storm wanted us. Roger. Then the plan is to weaken his defenses first. We're standing weapon fire as best we can, attack the laser, and then reach the platform to stop the launch. <laughs> We're gonna use brute force a brute force approach? Alright, that sounds like a plan I can get behind. <laughs> Let's aim for the laser. Move out everyone. I've seen this strategy before, and the strategy you're thinking of replacing it with, and the replacement for that. Storm's out here playing 4D chess against us. I am warfare incarnate. The best you can do is choose a maneuver that might briefly postpone your defeat. All right, 30 days to win this fight. This is quite the match we have going up against us. So we got Max's forces on the left, Eagle's forces on the right, and Grit's forces coming up the center. We got two black cannons to deal with. 
one right here, one right here. We got a lot of black hole bases. We got he's got a lot of cities. He's got a bunch of missile silos up here, which I don't think he ever actually utilizes. He's got a trio of mini cannons. He's got airports all over the place. It's a tough fight. I'm not gonna lie. The optimal strategy for this is to have Eagle with you. He's basically going to be our main driving force into attacking the laser cannon, which is right here. Our main goal is just to destroy that. We don't have to worry about the black cannons over here. However, we do need to get Eagle's forces over here to launch the attack. That being said, Sturm's forces are going to be coming right down the middle, and the fact that his units will not take any damage from the death ray means uh, Grid is going to be our MVP for this because we can actually attack off to the side, bottleneck his forces, and hopefully uh, keep him from overwhelming our main area. Max over here is going to basically be on defense. He's going to just try to keep this entire area completely covered. I might try to send a couple of anti air units over to Eagle's side to help, like, get some air protection for him. But for the most part, that's just the strategy I'm going to go with for this mission. But first things first, we need money. We need a lot of money. I'm going to get an APC and get infantry for Max, because I'm going to send these boys up here to capture these two cities from Stern. Or maybe I'll have them up here to capture this city and then also take the base. It just depends on where he drops off his units. Eagle, let's get infantry out here. And then we don't have enough for Battlecopter, but I will get a Battlecopter next turn. Oh, I like this. This does really give off final boss energy to this little remix of Storm's theme. Oh, I love it. So for the time being, let's get an artillery, and let's get some more infantry. We're going to put the artillery right here, that way it has basically this area covered. Uh, the Death Ray, it fires in three spaces in front of it, all the way down to the end of the map, so your two bases right here in HQ are going to be exposed to its fire. Also right here as well, so you want to try and keep like your indirect combat units off to the side right here to not get hit by it. We will probably keep troops in the line of fire at this thing because it'll at least slow down Storm's forces so they don't overwhelm us. But for now, we're just going to keep uh, moving our units around and getting everybody into position. How long? Okay, we'll take a little bit before that thing can get over there. Oh, nope. have enough for a tank just yet, but I will get... I'll get a recon. As well as some more infantry, and I'm going to start capturing the stuff down here. Capturing that. See down here capturing this. Let's get a battle copter. And one more infantry, and then I'll get an air transport over here so we can start flying these boys down here. I'm just gonna jam out to this thing. Oh, it's so good. Like I said before, many times before actually, WayForward did not need to go so hard with the music in this game, but I appreciate them to hell and back for it because, man, I don't think there's a single theme in this game that I hate. Like, they did such a good job in this. Let's get another artillery in it built. Uh, actually, let's just get an APC. That way I can ferry you guys down there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to capture that, but he doesn't have any infantry over there at the moment. Okay, 
Okay, what's he got coming up here? You got a battle cop, three anti-air units, and um, artillery. So I'm gonna need to be smart with these placements, especially with the fact I don't really have a lot of counters for that anti-air vehicle. I'll probably get a tank built next, just so that way we have something to counter it with. I forgot about the check the range for these things. there then. Oh, she just kept you on the bridge. How far into Max's turret does that thing go? Right to where the tank is. Okay. I think it's probably going to prioritize the artillery instead of the tank. So that way we can uh, counter any vehicles coming this way. Where's this one reach to? I swear it was on the last space. Of course it was. my own fault for being dumb.
get their predators or ant here from there soon. Ooh, definitely gonna need to get something over there. Laser fires for the first time. Send Antier just to provide a little bit of air support. Alright, not much, but still something. And you know what? Let's give you a priority target. The infantry up there. Whoops. Man, I just keep getting a little bit forg uh, forgetful about some of these units. Falling right from my trap. Congrats, you took out a useless APC.
right. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna get some missiles. Give Max a little air cover. Shoot, shoots right to that force, so I'll position you right there. Yeah, that laser's gonna... Yeah. Huh, I kind of figured it would knock it all the way down to one. So shouldn't destroy it, but still, uh, even down to a four, it knocks it down to half health. Like it's ridiculous how broken anti-air vehicles can be. Bomber, please take the bait. Thank you.
as well. Man, I keep just forgetting about all my troops. that face that he makes. pretty much done for. Still need more money for that thing. I don't know why you just gave up on that, but all right. gonna be really bad. Max is in a lot of trouble right now. Oh, how dare you. I mean, it did nothing, but still. to move you.
Okay, I think it's time for me to launch one of my missiles in Weakened Service Forces. I think we'll drop it right there to hit the the new tank the and the fighter. Ooh, and I can hit the battlecopter as well. And the tank. And I forgot to select that trooper up there again. destroy this damn thing. Yes. Get ourselves our bomber finally. Okay, so that missile right there, we have to place the bomber. We had to do something to move that guy, otherwise he's not going to let me on that scene. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have held on and find that bomber. Back in Cosmo Land. Will never happen again. Face your demise. I I'd rather not. Your strike. Oh, this is gonna suck. Where is he dropping it? Uh, of course he dropped it right on the bomber. That was honestly the worst possible location for him to drop anything. Might just be cutting this battle close. Because he kind of just threw a wrench into all our plans right now. So, yeah, I'll move you up there. Man, just goes to show how good Sturm is at the CEO and why he's so broken and banned in most tournaments. 
Right, that was a full-on hit by Grit's artillery or by Grit's rockets, and that did almost nothing to infantry. Basic infantry. Much of a choice. Roll, tanks, roll. All two of you. Does it do much against them? We're going to be on the defense with Max for a bit. Okay, it's actually a good thing that I moved the battle copter because that thing was going to get hit. a one-sided curb stomp at this point.
Of course he's got a fighter on that side now. to put up the side not there because I think I just blocked off Eagles next no I didn't save that missile for when I really need it. So I think what we'll do is we'll just continue capturing the city over here. And I will not forget about the troop that's up here, and we're gonna finish capturing this city. Can't hide. Even with that super snipe, still not enough. I swear, if it's off by one space, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, no, it was off by like two spaces. Ridiculous. 
But we did it regardless, so let's let's get the anti-airs moving over there because we definitely need it. I'm gonna keep the missile over here. Oh, oh they like dinged it. Oh no, oh no, 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 why do you have to have his seal power up already? I'd rather not. Well, he did say I wanted to embrace darkness, and this is pretty dark. I swear we forward does this on purpose to for comedic value. Really? Dropping it right there? I'm surprised you didn't go for the bombers. I mean, now my anti-air defense against the bomber that's coming this way is kind of shot, but still. They'll still be at the... Okay, well, yeah, I guess you're doing that to destroy my rockets right there, but at the same time, it's just like, I still think even heavily damaged missiles should be able to... T uh, Critically wound that bomber up there. Man, even with that defense, but ah. Uh... Yes, I do know that my battery's so. Then again, when is the battery on this thing low? I swear this thing consumes battery life faster than anything I've had in like the past like five years. Give up. Oh, nothing to him. Okay. That's all I can really do with Max for now.
There it is. Okay, nothing can really blockade that, so... The time has come. We can finally make that push. I'm still gonna do as much damage as I physically can. But so long as nothing horrible happens, we should be able to push into his base and take out the laser. days left. I don't know if this is one of the days where the laser's gonna fire. So... I'm just gonna play it by ear and hope for the best. I kind of lost track of my days. Let's see. So, day 7, day 14. Okay, no. We got one more day. It's been a long time since we've seen the Orange Star HQ. Okay. Not really anything threatening coming this way, so... Let's just combine you guys, let's get a mech out here, and that is it for Max. Okay. Get in there, boys. Do us proud. Strike and light drive. My mind's on Advance Wars 1, thank you very much. Eagle, you maybe want to give my controller a bit of a charge? No? Okay. Yep, that would be enough. Alright, let's just do as much damage to his forces as possible to get that power up. All 
right, that's it. Death Ray neutralized. Impossible! There's no way you could have destroyed my Death Ray! The enemy defenses have been weakened. Attack the platform and halt the missile launch. All right. Listen up, y'all. Let's mop this up and break quick and right on home. Come on. Yeah, that platform's about to get torn down. <laughs> There's only one thing standing between us and victory. Let the platform fall, soldiers. Lord Sturm. The missile platform. It won't hold. <sighs> launch the missile immediately. No. It won't launch. Those jerks ruined my most precious work. We've rendered the missile launch platform completely inoperable. <laughs> yes! I have come so far. Oh. You're next on the list, Sturm. <clears throat> Only to be foiled by such insignificant pests once more. <laughs> no, I will not let it end like this. I will sacrifice my own flesh and all of you. You will join me in death! Whoa, hold on there. What are you planning? He's got the trigger of some sort of self-destruction device. Possum spit. Maxie, back away now. You jerk. Anti, no! If you think for one second that we're gonna let you get away with this... This... this worm. I am not a worm. I'm Andy. I'm a SEAL in the Orange Star Army. Andy? Run away! Andy! Everyone, get back! <laughs> Chance is a fickle thing. You never know when it will come your way. And yet, here it is. Hey! That's Hawk! Sturm, I think it is time you were relieved of your command. Hawk! You <laughs> Good riddance. But why? Why would you? Lord Sturm is no more. Hawk, what have you done? As of now, with the sudden resignation of Lord Sturm, I'm interim commander in chief of the Black Hole Army. Any objections? What's the meaning of this, Hawk? You were in league with Sturm, were you not? I merely wanted an opportunity to test my power to see how strong I could become. I have no interest in anything outside my own power. That's my purpose, nothing more. Regardless of the reason why, you saved us all. <clears throat> yes, well, that doesn't clear his record of wrongdoing. I won't forget what you did to Green Earth. <clears throat> I didn't ask for your exoneration. I'm through with all of you. Although, I must say, I'm impressed with your performance. It was satisfying. <clears throat> what? How about this? We continue this fight until I'm satisfied. Eagle, enough! Our troops are on the brink of collapse! There's nothing to be gained by fighting any longer. I be out of, may be out of line, sir, but I believe Commander Drake is correct. Hmm. There's no fight to be had here. Our army is in ruins. We'll withdraw and start a new era of Black Hole. Uh, Huck, you know I've always had your back. I'm on your team till the end. Yes. Hey, count me in too. Rebuilding from the ground up sounds like fun. I... I follow the strong. Very well. Prepare our troops. We're leaving this place. Hey. Hold it, Hawk! Hey. What you've done to Macro Land is unforgivable. But you saved me. You saved all of us, so thanks. <laughs> the Black Hole Army may be gone as we know it, but you will do well to remember me until we meet again. Huh? Hold on. He up and left it saying his peace, so I wonder if we'll see him again someday as our foe. 
It's hard to say, but he's got the nerve to show his face here again. We'll have... We'll just have to drive him back. Yes. In the meantime, it's best to prepare just in case. You never know what tomorrow may bring. Hmm. As battle ravaged our troops are, so is the soil of Macroland. We must help both heal anew. <laughs> Preparations and soil can wait. We won! We did... We did win, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yep, pretty sure we did. Oh, yeah! Well, let's celebrate. It's party time! <laughs> Figures, we barely escaped death and the kid wants cake and ice cream. <laughs> Hold on. Ice cream? I'll have chocolate. Oh. Party! And thus, the day is saved. Thanks to bullshit! Ask in the presence of our indomitable greatness. Just shy of being able to buy both COs. All right, with the black hole army driven from its shores, Macroland was free at last. But peace is a fragile thing. Stay vigilant. Until next time. And hopefully the next time we come and wait for we'll actually be able to do a reboot camp of Dual Strike because I would be very interested in it. All right, that was Advance Wars 2 reboot camp. Honestly, everything I wanted and more. I absolutely loved every aspect of this. I loved the, the voice acting and the characters. I loved the reimagined levels. And... I gotta say, it felt like a bit more of a challenge this time around than it was in the original Advance Wars 2. I had some times where I actually really did have to think and strategize for this, and other times where I kinda got very angry because of the fact that levels just took forever because Adder was being a jerk about his placements. But, either way, uh, I really did love this. I enjoyed this. I love this series. I would love to see WayForward tackle the rest of the Advance Wars games and maybe make a new one completely original. Though, I, I will have to admit, it would be kind of silly to see them tackle Days of Ruin with uh, its complete and uh, utter tonal shift. That being said, I still love this. It was uh, just a really, really uh, good time. I actually did a pretty good job for all these levels. I think... I don't think I ever got a single C rank in this. I think the worst we ever got was a B rank. And I do like that each and every time that the level pops up, you actually do see the level show up on the monitors here. That's actually a really cool thing. C Fortress S. Drake's Dilemma B. That sinking feeling, that was an S rank. Danger times nine was an S rank. We only beat it in nine days. To the rescue was a B with 14 days. Navy versus air, A rank, which I'm still bewildered at the fact because of how long it took. Rain of fire was a B. I feel like that should have been an A. The great sea battle, 29 days to the B rank. Hot pursuit, 25 days. And Final Front, 21 days with a B. Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp Advance Wars 2 Edition is done. Developed by WayForward. All the hard work that went into this, I absolutely love WayForward for what they did. It was such a just fun time being able to revisit this game after so long. And I will say the wait was definitely worth it. I love the Advance Wars 1 Reboot. I love Advance Wars 2 Reboot. I'm probably going to be playing this game for the next couple of years to just completely uh, complete it. There's still challenge run we gotta go through. There's all the war room maps that I gotta unlock and get. And oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna be at this series for a long time. 
Uh, but yeah, like I said before, during the, the level credits, I love this game. Had a great time with it. Would love to see them do dual, dual strike in the future as a possible series, although... I feel like that out of the two DS Advance Wars games, the Dual Strike would be the hardest to do because of its mechanic of like uh, switching between two different fronts. Like, I, I wonder how, if they ever do it, they would be able to accomplish it. I'm actually kind of curious and kind of hopeful that they're able to pull it off. For Days of Ruin, I, I A, don't really see Way Forward being the one to tackle it because of just like it's very like overly gritty undertone or overtone I should say and Wade Forward's like cartoony like uh, colorful style would kind of clash with it although it would be immensely hilarious and I don't think really relying too much on the uh, the dual screen as much as dual strike did for mechanics wise so they definitely could possibly pull it off Sports cast did an absolutely amazing job with this and i also would love to like maybe just like theorize if they ever do dual strike uh what the voice cast for the other black hole seals all the new seals that were introduced for orange star blue moon green earth and gold comet I, I don't really have much else to say. It, it was just a really fun time to play through this. Is that? Is that what I think it is? Speaking of Dual Strike, is that supposed to be a comm tower from Dual Strike? Because that really looks like it. That wouldn't be a lab. That, that looks like a comm tower from Dual Strike. Maybe that's an Easter egg that they might be doing it? Who knows? Huh. I don't think that was in the, uh, the Advanced Wars 1 credits. Alright, everybody. That is going to be it for Advanced Wars 2. Maybe one day I'll be back and we'll do the challenge run playthroughs of it for uh, both 1 and 2. Not 100% sure when, but uh, I would like to see myself doing it. I might also do like one-offs of like playthroughs of the War Room maps and just like just have a more chill time with them. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. You've all been great. I will see you all next time for whatever we have coming ahead. Take care, everyone.